an AI software able to detect and count plastic waste in the ocean using aerial images. It's both clever and simple, and you could use this same model for many image classification applications. Let's see how it works. This is What's AI, and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. We live on a blue planet. Over 70% of Earth is covered by sea. From space, our ocean appears pristine clean. Unfortunately, it's not. Because of poorly controlled waste sites, illegal dumping, and mishandled waste from population centers, tourism, industrial and agricultural activities, an estimated 8 million metric tons of plastic waste entered the oceans. Ode Garcia Garian Al from the University of Barcelona have developed a deep learning based algorithm able to detect and quantify floating garbage from aerial images. They also made a web-oriented application allowing users to identify these garbages called Floating Marine Macroliter, or FMML, within images of the sea surface. Floating marine macroliter is any persistent manufactured or processed solid material lost or abandoned in a marine compartment. As you most certainly know, these plastic wastes are dangerous for fish, turtles and marine mammals as they can either ingest them or get entangled and hurt. Traditional approaches to detecting these FMMLs are observer-based methods, meaning that they require someone on a vessel or airplane to look for them yielding to precise identification, but extremely expensive and time-demanding labor. Fortunately, this detection can be done using cameras or sensors on aerial vehicles, but it also requires trained scientists to manually look at the collected data being, again, extremely time-consuming. Automation is clearly needed here and could help us improve the quality of our marine compartments worldwide much more effectively. This is where machine learning and deep learning come in play. Deep learning proves over and over that it's a very powerful automation tool, and especially in the computer vision industry, where it's known to automatically identify the important features of an image without any human supervision, making this approach less time demanding than its predecessors, for many different applications including this very important one. As you may suspect, they use the convolutional neural networks to attack this problem. This type of neural network is the most commonly used deep learning architecture in computer vision. The idea behind this deep neural network architecture is to mimic the human's visual system. If you want to learn more about the foundation of convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, I will refer you to their video on the top right corner on your screen, where I'm explaining them more in depth. They train their algorithm with aerial images like this one, taken by drones and aircraft with annotations made by the same professionals that are usually manually analyzing them. This is a challenging task even for deep learning because of all the possible variations in colors and sun reflections, as you can see here. In short, their model is a regular binary classifier CNN architecture, composed of convolutions and poolings, terms that I explained in the video I referenced earlier, that outputs a binary response, telling us if there are FMMLs or not in the picture. The depth of the network is due to these convolution layers compressing the image and creating many feature maps, which are the outputs of the filters, ending with a general representation of the image, allowing us to know in general what the image contains, such as FMML in this case. Note that this exact same architecture could have been used on any other computer vision application with a task to classify whether or not something is in the image, such as putting a defect on a manufactured part or telling if there is a dog or not. What they did differently, making it powerful to FMML detection, is that they had the idea to split the image into 25 smaller cells that each outputs a classification result, FMML or not, yielding much better overall accuracy. Then, they used the SHINY package of R to develop their application. Their algorithm allows the detection and quantification of FMMLs as well as providing support to the monitoring and assessment of this environmental threat. However, it's still not completely automated yet and requires a human in the loop. 
as of now, they are still looking for more annotated data to allow their algorithm to also identify the size, color and type of FMML, which are very relevant information for planning well-targeted policy and mitigation measures. This is still an amazing application of deep learning with a great use case that will benefit everyone. Of course, this was just an introduction to this new paper, and I linked both the paper, their code, and their application in the description below if you would like to read more about it or even try it out yourself. Please leave a like if you went this far in the video. And since there are over 80% of you guys that are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further news. Thank you for watching. Thank you.